Is there a legal basis to issue fixed penalty notices to those camping on the seashore? And would it be lawful to interfere with those people sleeping in the middle of the night? Or would it interfere with the European Convention on Human Rights? That is what I'm looking at today following an interesting question in the comments and a report by the BBC just about three hours ago from the time of recording. First of all, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm a barrister who helps you understand law. As an advocate, I'm going to start with the conclusion and then work through some analysis. And that is that yes, there is a lawful basis for issuing fixed penalty notices to those that are camping and sleeping on the seashore. And in my view, I don't think it's going to interfere with ECHR, although it does depend on exactly how the situation unfolds. And of course, every situation turns on its own facts. Many of these activities are regulated by what we call bylaws. Many of you may have heard of these, but may not know what they are, by whom they are created, or exactly what they do. So if you think of the legal system from the top down, it's probably a little bit easier to understand. Parliament might create an act of parliament which covers the entire country, there's no ambiguity, it's codified law and everyone can refer to it. Whereas a bylaw you may think of as a local law created by a statutory body such as a local council under a power established by legislation. In our example of camping on the seashore, we can look to the Public Health Acts Amendment Act of 1907. Specifically, Section 82 provides local authorities the authority to create and enforce bylaws in respect of the seashore. They read as follows. The local authority for the prevention of danger, obstruction or annoyance to persons using the seashore may make and enforce bylaws to 1. Regulate the erection or placing on the seashore or on such part or parts thereof as may be prescribed by such bylaws of any booths, tents, sheds, stands, stalls, and so on. In other words, using the power provided by this act, a local authority may make and create bylaws which regulate how these areas are used, including, in this example, the erection of tents on the seashore. You will find several different types of bylaws around the country. For example, in this case, we've talked about local authority bylaws, but there are also countryside bylaws, transport bylaws, and military land bylaws, just to name a few. And it's not just local authorities that can create bylaws. For example, national park authorities can create bylaws, as can those in charge of town and village greens, even ports, harbors, airports, bridges, and even public libraries. So as I frequently say on my channel, the law is vast, and not knowing the law is usually not an excuse for not complying with it. Hence the reason for my channel to hopefully give you a bit more information about what these laws are, where you can find them, how they apply, who creates them, who enforces them, and so on. So now that you know that there are bylaws that can be created by local authorities, which include beaches and erecting tents and camping on beaches, let's look at who can enforce them. Well, clearly local authority officers acting on behalf of the local authority can enforce bylaws, as can community support officers and of course, police officers. Breaching a bylaw is a summary offense, which means it usually results in a fine, unless of course you're just given a warning and told to go on your way. If you pay that fine, then the liability for the offense is going to be discharged. However, if you fail to pay that fine, you may well find yourself being prosecuted in the magistrate's court. The penalty fines for breaching bylaws are between 500 and two and a half thousand pounds, which are levels two and four on what we call the standard scale. As to the exact amount of the penalty imposed, if there is no fixed penalty, this will be decided by a court, and it will depend on the type of bylaw and the seriousness of the offence. However, the Local Government and Public Involvement in Health Act of 2007 provides local authorities the power to set fixed penalties for certain offences. As with many Acts of Parliament, this one too comes with statutory annotations, which includes introductory paragraphs and a good explanation as to how this is going to apply for local authorities setting fixed penalties for such offences. It reads as follows. The government initially intends to use the powers in these sections to introduce new procedures for local authorities to make bylaws and enforce them through fixed penalty notices only in relation to local authority bylaws, which are confirmed by the Secretary of State for communities and local government. These bylaws regulate matters such as low-level nuisance in local spaces, for example, parks and beaches, the use of marketplaces, and for the cleanliness of barbers and hairdressers' premises. The powers could be used in relation to bylaws in other areas in the future. So in respect of fixed penalties for camping on the beach, 
there is a more in-depth explanation as to why there is indeed a lawful basis for doing so. As to ECHR, the only one that I can really see with any relevance is Article 8, which is the right to respect for private and family life. However, this is a qualified right, which means it can be interfered with where it is necessary and proportionate and for a legitimate reason. In this case, if the local authority's actions are to protect the health and the rights of other people, and their actions go no further than what is necessary, and if the restrictions they impose are lawful and proportionate, then they are not likely to violate Article 8 of ECHR. So sadly, camping on the beach is not the magic solution to a cheap holiday at the seaside. So I hope you found that rather technical analysis interesting and rather useful. Leave your questions and comments in the box. I do enjoy reading those and they fuel ideas for new videos. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.